Hey everyone, this is Parkazoo2 and one welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use all the new features in Emergency Vehicle Creative version 2.1. On top of that, I'm also going to be showing you the basics of using the ELS Creative because some people are still having trouble with it, even though it's the same thing as V1, just in a different UI. Editor me here, I just realized I forgot to say that um, Beyond the Vibe is the original creator of the vehicle used in this video. Uh, so Huge shout out to him for letting me use it. Um, he's also our admin in our Discord server. And yeah. Anyways, thank you so much to him for letting me use this vehicle. So anyways, let's get into it. So this new version of EVC now includes features such as overrides, additional light bar locations, um, default function states, among other fixes, and a couple other things. So. Let's go over that. So the first thing we have is our vehicle here, and we're gonna go over overrides first. Now overrides are, are brake, reverse, and park mode overrides, along with any overrides for the horn. So we're gonna go over that. So what we're gonna do is, I've already got all these patterns created here. You can see it's just a brake. Um, it's just called brake, and then pattern one. Um, that's all you need. So reverse pattern one, park mode pattern one. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up our plugin and I'm going to make one for the horn override. So let's do that. So we're going to go into our ELS creator. And for the horn override, I'm just going to take over all these visor lights. So I'm just going to create eight lights. And I'm going to name it V1 through V8. And remove some of these rows. Also gonna set the time to like 0.03. Yeah. And basically all I'm going to do is just go white and off to create my horn override. I know very intense. <laughs> and then also just to show you how you can do sections, I'm gonna add another section of 0.03. Do the same thing, removing it all the way up until we're at the two. Oh, by the way, if you don't want to hit confirm, you can hit the enter key, which is what I'm doing right now. We're going to add, let's see, we're going to add, yeah, just two, G1 to G2. I'm just going to do the opposite. So we have this, wow, it's going to hurt your eyes. Anyways, so now what we're going to do is we're going to export. And because this plugin is already on an older version of the chassis, when we click on it and hit chassis plugin and select, it's going to ask us if we would like to update it. Um, you don't have to update it, but if you want overrides and all the new features I'm showing off in this video, you do have to update it. So we'll do that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add a function. We're going to call this horn. And then I'm going to click on it and create a pattern one. And then I'm just going to override it. Yeah, so now if we go in here, we should see this horn and these two EVC exports. Make sure they have a high enough weight that they'll take over everything else, which yes, it does. And so, yeah, now that we have the updated chassis plugin, we can go in here to our settings and let's go over everything that was added. So we have our additional light bar locations. This is basically going to look through the entire body to find more light bar locations. So, for example, if you have a light bar inside of your body, just this model right here, and um, an additional one, you could just set the name of that. So like I could do lights, for example, or let's say you have something in MISC, like a, I don't know, a rotator or something, you could like model, uh, rotate. Uh, but let's say you also have another model under here called ELS rotator, then you can add to MISC ELS rotator. And it will look through the entire MISC until it finds this. Or if it can't find it, then it just doesn't do anything else. <laughs> so that's how you add additional light bar locations. Uh, they don't have their own module store. It is the same exact module store from here. And it will take the data from this module store. So you don't need to add any additional module stores. Um, our siren data, our light bar name, and our siren name are all automatically converted when you update the chassis plugin, along with your keybinds. You see, I didn't add any of these keybinds, and these are not the default keybinds. Then we have our default function state, which I'll go over in a second. And then 
as you can see the colors the light function and everything else was automatically transferred from the old settings so let's go over default function state default function state simply lets you set a default state for one of your functions so in my case i'll just do we have cruise lights on here so i'll just do cruise equals one so as soon as the car spawns in it will start with the cruise lights turned on now we have our overrides i wonder do we even have a horn on here yes we do it's just broken i think the sound is broken no, it is not. I don't know why it wasn't working earlier then. It's hitting H. Oh, because he has the type set incorrectly, that's why. I think I set that to hold. Okay, so let's do the horn override. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a horn. And now that is because this is called, the name of this is horn, so it has to match the name of the siren. It also works for overrides. Should work for overrides. I haven't actually really tested it, so might not. <laughs> oh, sorry, not overrides, modifiers. Jeez, my brain. Sorry, it's a bit early in the morning. So we're gonna set horn equal to horn override. And just because I named this horn, I'm actually gonna name this horn override. And then, come on. and now for the parking brake override, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create these parentheses. And what these parentheses do allows you to set a what is the word allows you to set a required function in order for it to work. So if I do park mode override and I do comma stages, the park mode will not turn on unless if the stages is turned on at all. And for break, I can just do break. And for reverse, I can just do reverse. I don't know exactly where the... Oh, I guess I forgot to update the blank settings template. I'll do that before the plugin releases. There should be documentation right here about using the uh, secondary thing, but it's not there. I'll have to fix that. But anyways, so now that we've done that, um, we've added our overrides and our default function state and our additional light bar locations, we can go ahead and test it out. Okay, we can see as soon as we get in game, the cruise lights are turned on indeed. So we know that that has worked. I'm trying to remember what the keybind is to turn them off. I'll just check. Keybind's in. Okay. So hop in the car and hit N to turn them off. Turn them back on. Works just fine. Okay. So if I go in and hit my brakes, you can see the brake overrides turned on. If I go in reverse, the reverse overrides turn on. If I turn my lights on and go in the park, the park override turns on. Yeah, there you go. That's how you use all the new features within Emergency Vehicle Creator version 2.1. If you have any questions, bugs, or anything like that, or you just can't figure something out, the Discord server is linked below. You can open a support thread, and I will try to help you as soon as possible. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to let me know by liking and subscribing so I can do more tutorials like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.